just lose myself in sorrow and forget. The sky has been much bluer, and my life just so much sweeter since we met. You make my day with what you say, a world of calm inside your arms. I hope you.
just lose myself in sorrow and forget. How the sky has been much bluer And my life just so much sweeter since we met
Well, guys, um, I don't know what to say, honestly, because it was like uh, really, really magical. How do you how do you feel? I mean, yeah, it's one of those things when uh, the, the, the first two days we were here, it's been cloudy, which to be honest, I've been to Colombia a few times. My girlfriend's from Colombia. Our first girlfriend's come from Colombia. We know this country quite well. And it is, you know, you get some sunny days, but the gray weather can persist, especially near Medellin. It's so high up, too. So this morning when we woke up and the clouds had parted, it's just like, well, it's meant to be, you know? Yeah, exactly, so good. exactly. And uh, I was watching like the the, uh, the weather, like the the current weather. And usually like in, I think in October or November, it's, you, it like rains 24 days per month. And today we are, we are like yeah. the perfect, the yeah, perfect yeah. weather, not too hot, like very perfect. Yeah, so. Yeah. And as perfect as your set, um, I would say. Uh, there are a lot of uh, online questions, guys. If you have any questions on Twitch or Facebook, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, it looks like you had a lot of fun playing uh, today. Uh, what is your or what are your main purposes as DJs? Well, I think um, obviously our thing is called group therapy. And like it's been truly such a challenging time yeah. that we're living through. Um, at, at least for me, it feels like these kinds of moments are like truly healing. Like I've had my own battles and just coming here surrounded by so much love, it really feels I, I saw really your, touching. Yeah, I saw your message on your computer. Uh, yeah, and you, you, you talked about the tough times we uh, encountered and we still are in, inside uh, this uh, COVID crisis. Uh, what, what errors or what did you learn from from this personally from the from the covid uh, pandemic from the pandemic to be honest i i i gained a huge appreciation of doing nothing that i thought i would never have i was absolutely i mean i'm sort of looking forward to sort of one day maybe i'll retire one day and just being absolutely terrified of that because i think in some ways m maybe you feel like so much of yourself is is wrapped up in what you do in this job So to just stop and spend time cooking and around the house and and then I started doing these sort of deep DJ sets from my from my kitchen table that were nothing to do with with above and beyond and, and actually it really felt nice it gave me a real perspective on what above and beyond does and and it's really only in the last couple of months that we've been able to get back to doing it with this tour around the the, the USA and and uh, and today obviously to be honest when i when we agreed to do this i imagine it would be just us with oh, no with audience no, no. yeah it was you know <laughs> one of those ones you know so it it is actually it's it's lovely to get back uh with the day job as it were with a real sense of perspective about exactly what it is that we do and i think moving away into that deep thing for the 18 months that i was doing it and meeting people in that scene many of whom are from colombia and are here today gave me a real a, a different perspective on what above and beyond and anjuna beats and anjuna deep means to the world so it's been a really lovely experience for me it's been terrible parvo's had bad covid twice so oh you know we, we you, you, you can't You can't take away the, the real human suffering that's that's happened in in the last two years. Um, but for me, selfishly, um, it's been a, it's been an interesting and, and lovely experience. Yeah, taking your time, uh, do things maybe slower. Uh, you did and you do a lot of things. You own like uh, Andrew Nadi, Andrew Nabitz. Uh, you're a DJ, producer, artist. You also have your radio shows. You do so many things. How do you uh, balance how? How much time do you invest and balance between like all projects now nowadays? Well, I guess we all like play like a different kind of part. In the beginning, we actually started on Juno Beats, uh, literally posted all the vinyls yeah. and like were queuing outside uh, venues doing it. And as as the thing grew and as Above and Beyond became like more busy with touring, um, you know, James, who's running uh, on Juno Deep with uh, Jody, as done an amazing job at building 
like a truly world class yeah. uh, team, really, that's supported above and beyond and everything. And I think at the moment, especially with what's been going on the last few years, um, I've sort of seen that our role is, is almost like to spiritually lead where mm. things go and then also, if we can, to create something that is also like leading where the labels go uh, li and inspiring other artists and, and that way like I think that's really our role is to be that sort of you know showing where to go mm, that's yeah, but we, you know we have 50 people now working in the UK people. yeah in our office so you know they, they do take care of an awful lot of stuff for oh, us <laughs> I can imagine 50 people is a lot and it's what's crazy about your labels is uh, how engaged are people how like it's called like the family and how passionate uh, your community is um, how do you think you manage to get there and how do you think like a new label can like what's the recipe of uh, 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 a new a good lab label in 2021 I, I think it's a combination for us we, we've ended up with a label which is unique and incredibly valuable a, a good friend of mine is the or until recently was the the chairman of Warner Music Latin America and he used to I used to work at Warner's with him long chat about what record companies can do now and his view is not very much the artists generally do most of their marketing online themselves more more. so a record company is just like a bank and I think that's not the case for us we have I don't know let's say two million say three million passionate fans worldwide that are really luckily for us because we've it's taken a while to get to that point really interested in everything we do everything we introduce to to the labels and the artists that we we introduce to them and it's an incredibly privileged position that we're in but it also makes i think for us the label an incredibly powerful tool for us yeah. because Warners don't have uh, you know, a, a loyal fan base. We've, we've ended up with this incredibly valuable resource, uh, which is all these you know, the people who come to our gigs and are so passionate about uh, Anjuna Beats and Anjuna Deep. And, you know, forgive us for, you know, changing direction here and there, you know, loved the acoustic tour, loved the, you know, the yoga um, albums that we've done. They're very accepting of, of, of us having fun with being in Above and Beyond and that, also is incredibly valuable they're not you know sticklers for us staying the same so we're just very very lucky yeah and you and and your label has a real role inside the this industry uh, as you as, as you uh, told us that now uh, artists are more and more like kind of alone in this uh, yeah. in the promotion and everything um, we will soon upload this content on YouTube. Do you guys watch YouTube and what kind of videos are you watching on YouTube? <laughs> well, I've been actually really loving the NPR live shows. Uh, oh, NPR, yeah, out. yeah, they're like, really there's good. There's such an array of different kinds of amazing like, live shows over there. Um, and yes, of course, like Ben Bomer's uh, oh, yeah. circle Cap sets <laughs> been like on repeat for so many times, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, he did like a really uh, amazing uh, set, and um, I will um, um, remember this one forever. I think, but this one as well. It was, it was, it was so so magic. I, I'm watching all, all the online question. Uh, question from Joe Do Doherty: Do they discuss the choice of tunes between them before playing, or is it more a battle of crates? We used to genuinely play back to back. And I think we just grew dissatisfied with it. Um, I, I, unless, unless you're in the same place at the same time with somebody, you end up in a slightly different part of the universe. Yeah. So to be able to, without speaking, read somebody's musical taste and musical choice, I think that's proved to be very difficult for us. So what we do now is we take it in turns. And today's was Pavo's set. So you get, I think, a more a more satisfying journey because it's somebody's vision. And I think that that makes it more uh, cohesive, uh, has a, you know, more of a flow rather than chopping and changing. I've been doing quite a lot of back to back to the end of my my streams. And, and it ends up being a little bit of a pissing contest sometimes, like, you know, like, uh, 
Marx played Mr. Wazoo the other day. You know, like, deal with that. How are you going to mix out of that? You know, it's like, I, I, don't, I don't think there's... And it's fun, I suppose, to watch online. But I think when there's real people wanting to dance, you want to you flow. And I yeah, think that yeah, needs, exactly. needs a singular mind to, to kind of plan it out. But on the other hand, when you play back-to-back -back and, and you are in the exact same vibe, it's also amazing. But it it's very be, yeah. rare, I yeah, must yeah, say. Yeah, it can <laughs> be. I think you get there after about 20 minutes. So there was always this sort of first 20 minutes of sort of fishtailing around. Yeah, and yeah. and I, that used to really bug me because, uh, you know, that I should understand. be good too. You know? Especially for this kind of yeah. short set. <laughs> yeah, and obviously one of the main things that we do as Above and Beyond is also do really amazing shows. And I think... Um, having this idea where we have like someone in charge where you can then you know really apply that vision to the show mm. structure visually and, and everything like you guys really like look at the whole thing yeah, from yeah. the visual perspective as well and it's been really important to us to give people a true experience at the bigger above and beyond mm. shows i understand and another question from uh I don't have the name. <laughs> um, Above and Beyond, oh yeah, you, you talked about this. Above and Beyond has been shifting more towards deeper sound recently, notably with Tony's deep sets. Can we expect an Above and Beyond album released on Anjuna Anj Anj Deep in the near future? I don't know if they'd want us. <laughs> <laughs> Any takers? <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> Um, okay, a uh, question from, and last question from Evergreen Cactus. What song from today's set was the most fun to record in the studio? Difficult one. It's a very good question. I have to say, what, one of the resprays that we played, um, Tom Middleton's Fly to New York, like, he'd done an incredible remix, and, and To me, the best remixes are when it doesn't sound like a remix. It mm. truly sounds like a song. And he'd taken it to a place that I didn't even realize that song could exist on. And then um, he sent us the stems and we made a like a slightly more harder version of it mm. for this set. Mm. And, uh, and for me, it was just a really nice thing to get something that I wasn't expecting to exist and then to be really inspired by it. I remember uh, writing on my way to heaven in my cycling shorts. I'd cycled to the studio and it was raining and I couldn't go home, which is one of the lines in the song. And so I put this incredible bit of music on that Jono had written and just blah, blah, blah for an hour, waiting for the rain to stop. And I didn't expect any of those lyrics to end up on the record. <laughs> and Jono was like, yeah, I really like that. I really like that. So that was fun because I was, I, was, yeah, I was just farting about, really, in Lycra. Guys, thank you very much uh, for answering this question for tonight's crazy set. Uh, it was a huge honor to have you on Circle. Thank you. Um, thank I, you. I also must uh, thank all the production team that worked very, very hard to make this show and the one uh, that will happen in, the few, in a few minutes uh, downstairs happen. So uh, big up to Dan, Anais and Armand and also to the local production team, Karim and his team and also to our Uh, Mexican producers uh, Adrian and his team thank you very much to them because it was extremely hard to produce this one I must say um, you will see some uh, behind the scenes uh, images and the Mathieu Alexis and uh, Michael are telling me and me and me thank you yeah thank uh, if I if I need to thank all the team it will be very long but I will do a, a big uh, big up uh, for you uh, next show maybe if <laughs> If you deserve it. One question, <laughs> though. How did you get the PA up the stairs? Uh, there is a small, uh, how do you say, um, zip line, yeah, that ah. uh, holds up to 100 kilos. And uh, thanks to this... We could <laughs> use that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we should use this. Uh, uh, so thanks to this one, it, it was uh, working properly. Uh, thanks to this, uh, we managed to, to bring all the PA. Uh, there is also a small... Uh, gift the mystery box that um, <laughs> is it a cake? Can we eat it's, it? it's not a cake. It's oh. it's um, it's something very um, like very from from here from this region. It's offered by here. You can open oh. the, the box. Okay. Open it's the box. Open the box. it's offered by Visit Medellin, ah. which is the tourism office from Medellin. Oh. Thank you very And much. it's a very very nice uh, set of um, cups of coffee with also coffee from here oh, which yeah, is amazing. amazing we're which like big lovers of coffee <laughs> oh that's good to know <laughs> and they, uh, they look really beautiful it's made out of a special um, 
I didn't understand uh, every, everything, but uh, a special material, like old material, and uh, from here. So um, I also wanted to thank uh, Pro Colombia and uh, uh, Visit Medellin for uh, all their help uh, in this in this show, and also Dalive. And I hope I don't uh, forget anyone. Thank you very much to all the team involved, and thank you very much to you guys. It was a, a big, big pleasure. Thank See you, you next time. Thank you. thank you for having us. It's been an honor for us too. Thanks. Oh, merci.